Hi, it's Mr. Burns, and I wanted to talk to you about the SAT physics subject test. And so before you start worrying about what you need to do to do well on it, first question is, should you take it? And so you need to know if the schools you're considering applying to uh, require you to submit SAT subject tests. And there's a good list of them. You can see it on the College Board website. I'll put that um, link in the description to this video, too, so you can copy and paste it and go right to it. And even if they do require subject tests, they may not care which ones you take. Some of them just want you to take one or two. They don't care. Some will say, take a math, take a science. They don't care which ones. Some get a little more specific. Uh, the most spe specific I saw regarding physics was they said, take either chem or physics. And there might be some that want you to take physics and depends on your major. And so investigate that first to see if you need to bother to take it. My other question would be, have you already taken one? So if you took the chemistry one and you got over 700, you're good. But can you do better than what you did on the uh, other one on physics? Yes, you can. So if you want to try and improve your score, you could take the chem or the bio one again, whatever one you took, or try the physics one. Maybe you'll do better. And so if they are, uh, there's some details about what your college requires. I found this website. Uh, I can't say how accurate it is, but it looked pretty good. And it gave more details on the College Board website on specifically what the college wanted. But again, your best bet is to go right to that college website and find out what they say specifically. So let's say you've thought about it, you investigated it, and either you need to take it or you just are thinking of and you want to. Uh, if you do take it, can you do well? Uh, I would say that you should uh, first want to do it. Uh, you, uh, learning, you're going to need to learn some more physics. We'll talk about that. And if that sounds interesting, uh, then I think you will do well. If you're kind of going, oh, more physics, then you might be better t taking the chem or bio one over again after studying. And so if you decide to take it, can you do well? Well, the, this is from the uh, school report posted on the uh, school website, and it says the average SAT subject uh, tests for uh, Los Gatos High School for the last three years. And so if you look at physics, uh, you can see physics is typically amongst the highest of any of the science tests. And we've been pretty consistent, and we also have a lot of students taking it. They're not all AP Physics Mechanics C students, uh, but I have some other data on just how they do as well. Uh, but overall, physics is doing pretty well. Uh, if you compare to the other ones, we're in the top three for uh, all those subject tests over the last three years. Uh, the only year we didn't uh, weren't the top science one, chemistry had an average of 701, so they really rocked in 2017. But you can see they vary a lot, whereas we're kind of steady. So I'm happy about that. And so here's what you might think is the bad news, but again, if you want to learn some more physics, you could say it's good news. Uh, we cover about half of the material that's on the SAT subject test. Uh, but you can learn the material that we haven't covered. The level is very different. AP Physics Mechanics C is a lot more in-depth uh, than the subject test. So the material that we do cover, you won't even have to study. You'll know it. Uh, maybe take some practice tests. That's about all the studying you'd have to do. But what you are going to do is, is need to learn a few more things. Uh, there's some thermodynamics material on the test that was covered in chemistry. And then there are questions that are just, if you've taken science and no science, you'll be able to answer. And so uh, uh, even though it sounds bad, you're going to have to learn half of it. I would say to do well, you're going to have to study about one third of the content material uh, that hasn't been covered. Um, and so with, when I say little effort, I'll give you more detail on that, but it's not a lot, and you can score above 700, which is really what you want to do. The physics subject tests, they acknowledge that really no physics class really is going to cover all the material on there, and so you can miss, it's hard to say exactly because there's a, a guess penalty on the SAT test, but you can miss anywhere from around 8 to 12, some people even say a little more, and still get an 800. 
you don't need to get an 800 to do really well. Anything in the 700 looks good. Uh, I would say above 750 is doing really well. Uh, and then as far as last year, uh, we had 41 students who took the AP Physics Mechanics C class that took the SAT subject test, and 20% of them, uh, eight of them, there were 41, eight of them took, got an 800. And the average was uh, about 706, and that included a lot of students that did not prepare. They just walked in and took it. And so one reason I'm t making this video is to reduce the number of people who just walk in and take it. Uh, you want to spend some time getting ready. So let's say I've convinced you, hey, I can do well, maybe do better than my previous subject science test scores, or I just want to take the physics one and I want to do well. What are you going to have to do? And so I highly recommend taking the June test date. Some students take it in May, and they usually don't do too well. You have a lot of things going on then, including AP tests. Uh, doing well on the AP Physics Mechanics C test will do more for you as far as your college applications than a good st score on the SAT Physics subject test. So concentrate on that. Then, if you want to do something, buy a review book. And then just put it on your shelf and you can say, hey, I've done something. Let it sit there. Work on the Mechanics C class. Uh, what review book to get? Well, the College Board sells one, the official one, uh, other ones, Barron's, Princeton Review. There are a lot of them. Look it up on Amazon. Look at the reader reviews. You can't really go wrong. Uh, there are a lot of online websites that you can review from. But I think having a book that you write in and uh, work with is, is a good idea. I would say overall the students like the Princeton one. Teachers tend to recommend the Barron's. And the, the official college board one is, is good, too. And they're not very much money. Um, and so when do you start working? I would recommend uh, the day after the AP Physics test, which is uh, the Mechanics C test, is on a Monday. So starting Tuesday, try and spend 30 minutes every day. Depends on the weekend the June test is on, but it's on, it's on June 1st in 2019. Uh, but check out how many days you have. Work out a plan. And so in general, if you do that, you're going to spend 10 to 12 hours total getting ready. Uh, that is enough to do well. Now, I have some people that doing well isn't enough. They want to do super well. They're trying for an 800. You're going to want to spend more than that. Then, If that's, if that's you, uh, double that. Um, that's still a lot of time, but spread out, and your schedule will be a lot simpler after the AP test is over. Uh, you'll actually be sitting at home wondering what to do with all your free time. No more web assign. Uh, the class will be a lot easier, and your other classes should settle down too. And so this will keep you out of trouble. I'm happy to help you a tutorial, or whoever your physics teacher is uh, will help you out, uh, especially sometimes circuits and uh, diffraction and interference sometimes people have trouble with. And so I can help you out if you come in with specific questions about it. But there's plenty online now. And so this is just um, the tip of the iceberg. But Khan Academy put together a video playlist of sort of a sequence of videos to watch. And you wouldn't need to watch them all. You wouldn't need the mechanics ones, but maybe you want to watch them anyway. And so if you go to that website, there's a lot of information from the College Board, including a link to the Khan Academy YouTube channel that has the playlist for the physics, SAT, physics subject test videos. And if you just search SAT, physics, subject test, preparation or review, you'll find lots of uh, online resources and they're, they're all pretty good as far as I know. Uh, so it's time to take the test, get a good night's sleep. Test is just an hour. There are 75 questions. Uh, if you took AP Physics Mechanics C, you have learned how to take a test with a short amount of time. Uh, but still, wear a watch, and every 15 minutes, see where you're at. If you're falling behind, pick it up. You may know how to do the last five questions, and if you don't get to them, you won't know. So if you take this advice and do a little uh, digging on your own uh, and plan this out and stick with it, uh, you might be one of the 20% uh, or higher, maybe, uh, next year that can score an 800 
And again, anything over 700 looks really good on your application. You should be happy about that.